And from major events to the millions of tourists coming every year, a 911 call in the Valley is a race against time. But county leaders say ambulance companies are just not cutting it. So it's leading to changes specifically in the busiest section of the Las Vegas community. Community Ambulance gave Fox 5 an exclusive behind the scenes look and Fox 5's Drew Andre takes us on a ride down the strip in this Fox 5 special report. Here one, code three at the Polo Towers on the Boulevard. A call rings into dispatch, and the first responders are off. This unit heading towards Las Vegas Boulevard. Two zero six, all hospitals are open. It's a medical call on the north end of the strip. The crew weaves their way to the wind. Yeah, it's right here. Best up part behind the engine, they're already up here. Security is waiting for them. Inside, the crew finds an elderly woman suffering from heart complications. Quickly, they take her out of the lobby and lift her into the back of an ambulance. Thanks, guys. Thank you, sir. Hope you feel better, man. This year, Community Ambulance is responsible for all of the estimated 30,000 911 calls along the Strip. Under the Clark County contract, ambulance providers must respond to calls in under 12 minutes, 90% of the time. This is not a test that you can underperform in. People's lives are really on the line. But AMR and Medic West haven't. As of two years ago, the two providers owned by the same ambulance corporation, Global Medical Response, responded to about 83% of 911 calls in the county. Now, Community Ambulance responds to just over half of them. That's because for close to a year, Clark County Commissioner Michael Naft says Global Medical Response was not hitting the 90% mark, which has led to millions in fines. It cannot just be about the penalty, the financial penalty. It's got to be about actually holding people accountable. So in November, for the second straight year, Clark County awarded Community Ambulance more territory. Why did the county have to trust in Community Ambulance to give this extra responsibility? Ever since we've had an opportunity to be able to serve the county, um, our compliance has never dipped below 93, 94%. Community Ambulance has served the Las Vegas community for 25 years, but has only responded to 911 calls since 2016. Everyone's goal is to hit that 90%, but what we've seen is not everyone's been able to do that. Number one, it's, it's our people. Um, and if we can equip our people with the tools for them to effectively and efficiently do their job, that, then they're gonna go out there and they're going to shine. But the nationwide paramedic shortage is a main reason AMR says they've struggled to and don't think the latest coverage changes solves the problem. We've already been through one redistricting process. It largely had a minimal effect on the system. Regional Director Michael Johnson presented his concerns to commissioners in November and asked for more time. We're going to change the system. Let's change it to a system that is going to work for all the stakeholders, including the community. Community Ambulance's Senior Director Glenn Simpson says their local leadership, three-day work weeks, and paying for EMTs to go to paramedic school has helped them only grow. Since gaining the extra territory in the fall, they've hired more than 60 new paramedics and EMTs and are now tackling the tough task of responding to calls on the Las Vegas Strip. I think too often we get caught in this, uh, that's how it's always been done. Uh, kind of mentality and we've really tried to think outside the box. The back of the ambulance is where paramedics do most of their work, but when crews are responding on the strip, sometimes the most difficult part of the call is just getting there. But the people walking across the street and things like that, you just, you have to be very on the defensive um, when it comes to driving down here on the strip. More than 30 community ambulance units roam the county at any one time. Now there are four posts around the strip. Understanding the little back roads on the strip and where to get around, I mean, it's a skill set that our employees have and it's a skill set that they build and uh, build up to be able to, to then get to these uh, locations. Simpson says they're coming up with suggestions to improve responding to the unique area. 
like placing a paramedic closer to resorts in a smaller vehicle so response can be quicker than ever. Is there an opportunity where you know, with the national shortage of paramedics that we're able to be more strategic in where we place paramedics? Every day, it's a race against time with life or death consequences. On the Strip. <laughs> Drew Andre, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Commissioners will meet in April to review how the changes to area response are going and could adjust again based on the numbers they see.